Welcome to The Chamber Report, a series of vignette interviews with local business leaders and community leaders of timely topics relevant to the business community in the Gate City. Joining us today is Paul Hebert, the President of the United Way of Nashua, and the United Way has been through several iterations, beginning as Community Chest, the Red Feather Agencies, and they've had several slogans. Uh, Live United is the current one, but United, thanks right. to you it's working. The United Way was also a popular one. And Paul, uh, we thank you for being with us here on the show today. Well, I'm happy to be here, Ed. It's always nice to see you. The United Way of Greater Nashua uh, has been around for a long time. And uh, how many uh, agencies are currently being served by the organization? Well, we got our start in 1930 in the aftermath of the Great Depression and the Crown Hill Fire. And of the 400 some odd nonprofit organizations that are in Greater Nashua, which is our footprint that Nashua and 10 surrounding towns, we uh, partner with about a dozen or 15 of them and then send donor designations on to probably about 50 or 60 of those organizations. Now, the majority of your funding comes from uh, donations from businesses or individuals or a combination of both? It's a vast majority from individual donors. Our average individual donor gives us about $250 a year through payroll giving. So they have a little bit of money, $5 a week, a dollar a day or so, taken out of their paycheck and they're able to pool those dollars with thousands of other uh, of their friends and neighbors in Greater Nashua and uh, at the end of the day that all adds up to around a million dollars or so but this payroll giving model that is unique to United Way really allows uh, individuals who wouldn't ordinarily give charitably because they don't have $250 to write a check at the end of the year to their favorite agency, but if uh, they give a dollar a day or so and it comes out of their paycheck, it doesn't feel like a lot when they're doing it, but at the end of the day, at the end of the year, it all adds up, and when you pool that together with three or 4,000 other folks, it, uh, it really adds up and makes an en enormous impact, positive impact in this community. And the unique thing about it is the individual can choose uh, the area or the agency that they would like to see some of their funds or all of their funds go to uh, and, and it can be spread out so they can help several agencies uh, with one uh, donation. They can. They can designate to an individual agency or multiple agencies or they can designate their, do their donations to our Community Impact Fund which is uh, the majority, it's probably about 85 or 90 percent of the funds go into our Community Impact Fund. And then we have donors, you participated in our process this year to allocate those funds, sit around a table and examine programs uh, that are offered by local agencies and determine the best use of those dollars to attack the greatest problems that face our community. And that, to me, was very eye-opening because, uh, as familiar as I thought I was with United Way, uh, it is a very intense process, and the uh, organization seeking funding uh, really need to show uh, that it's going to be the, the best bang for the buck, and how many people are going to be able to impact should they get all or some of the funds that they're requesting. That's right. That agency allocations process is how I got started with United Way as a donor 22 years ago. And I found when I was looking, I was coming back to the community and wanted to get involved and knew that I needed to give back. But looking at the three or four hundred nonprofit organizations that served our community, I really couldn't figure out on my own where I ought to invest those dollars. So from my perspective and my family's perspective, when we're donating, we're looking at three questions. We're looking at what are the greatest risks or the greatest problems in our community. Uh, we're trying to figure out what the most effective agencies or programs are that are addressing those risks. And then we're trying to figure out how do we know that our donation is actually having an impact on those things that we were originally concerned about. And that's what United Way does. We do a community assessment, which tells us what the greatest risks are. We have donors like you and I, and uh, probably 40 or 50 other folks who sit around a table and 
really put the agencies through their paces in a good way to find out what the most effective programs are and then we measure or rather the agencies measure so they report back to our donors on a, on a semi-annual basis about how they're improving conditions in the community so that in a future assessment we're going to see a change and improvement in the underlying conditions and as an individual donor I just couldn't couldn't do that I couldn't do the research and I couldn't really expect the agencies to realistically or reasonably hold themselves accountable to a family who's giving them two or three or four thousand or two hundred and fifty dollars in a year you can't expect an agency to track those dollars and report back on what they're doing but when it's tens of thousands of dollars and the agencies have those systems in place you can get that measurement and you can see that whole cycle of assessment investment and measurable impact and that's what led me to United Way, and that's why I stuck with it for 22 years, and now I have the privilege of working there.